Mark infringement, false advertising, and false association claims in a lawsuit filed against Fox Sports over the USFL, which is set to play ball in Birmingham next month. A group of former owners and executives from the defunct league filed the lawsuit in California Monday. They claim Fox Sports did not properly obtain use of the team names or logos from that defunct USFL that folded in 1985. We spoke with CBS 42 sports analyst Jim Dunaway tonight for his take. I find it hard to believe Fox Television has not somehow vetted this already, and that's why they were moving forward with this. And this lawsuit seems to be coming at the 11th hour, which seems like in sports terms, a Hail Mary for them to try to grab some money before this thing gets rolling. Okay, so here's what we're hearing from the other side. In a statement to CBS 42, the new USFL stated the lawsuit's completely without merit and that it registered its intellectual rights in 2011 and the 11th hour attempt to extract value from the exciting new USFL is utterly frivolous and we are exploring all options for redress. The first game is scheduled for April 16th.